assalamu alaikum students today we will discuss the relationship between the vertebral levels and the spinal segments you know that the length of vertebral column is more as compared to the spinal cord length the spinal cord ends at the lower uh, level uh, lower border of the l1 vertebrae so uh, the spinal level and the vertebral level differs so in order to uh, get the number of spinal segment uh, uh, against the vertebral column we add uh, different numbers in different regions so up in upper cervical region that is in c1 to c4 we add zero so zero is added so the same now, uh, same spinal segment lies against the vertebral column for example third cervical vertebrae overlies the third cervical segment in the lower cervical region C5 to C7, C5 to C7, add one. So we add one. First cervical, fifth cervical vertebrae overlies the sixth cervical segment. So in upper thoracic region, T1 to T6, add two. So at the level of fourth thoracic vertebrae lies the sixth thoracic segment. Lower thoracic region, that is T7 to T9 add 3. 9th thoracic vertebrae overlies the 12th thoracic segment. Then in the then at the level of T10 vertebrae lies the L1, L2 segments, T11, L3, L4 and T12, L5 to S1 and L1 at the level of S1, uh, L1 vertebrae lies the segments, sectal segments from second to coccyx segment. So this is how you know the uh, spinal segment lying at the vertebral level.